It is now the 10-year anniversary of the approval of Ramupistem for chronic ITP, which I think is it's shocking to me that these agents, you know, you think of them as new agents and they've been around for 10 years. So I know that you were one of the, um, the key investigators that, that was on the initial New England Journal paper for Ramupistem, is that correct? That's correct. So we were um, PIs, basically, and um, there, remember, there were two studies. One, in, in, and this will get back a little bit to what we were talking well, about before. I'm so sorry to interrupt you. Why don't we, for a completion, um, so Ramipolstem is a TPO receptor agonist, a thrombopoietin receptor agonist. And can you just talk about that class of drugs sure. and, and what the mechanism is? So, so we know that uh, thrombopoietin receptors or, or, or MIPL receptors are, um, are both on macrophages. I don't mean macrophages. I mean megakaryocytes. Mega I make you. the same mistake all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were talking so much about mega <laughs> uh, macrophages. <laughs> anyway, on, on both platelets as well as megakaryocytes. And the, the native endogenous hormone uh, to both induce uh, production, maturation, and proliferation uh, is thrombopoietin. Uh, constitutively produced mostly in the liver, uh, stimulates the um, production of platelets by megakaryocytes. And so we have the ability now to target that in the case of two drugs that are on the market and one avithromapeg that's probably on the heels of being released. Mm -hmm. uh, Ramiplastim, which is a peptibody that um, it's a platform that Amgen has developed where they can develop a protein that, or peptide that can uh, attach to and, and activate any receptor. And then they hook onto that a antibody that gives it uh, durability and duration of action in the, in the bloodstream. So we have one mimetic agent that's perennial, and that's ramiplastim with the peptide body, and the other is l which is a small molecule and attaches to the transmembrane receptor. So a little bit of a different position of activation, but both activate the tepal uh, through the jack stack pathway to produce platelets through megakaryocytes. So the, um, the drug was developed in two parallel, identically designed, multi- uh, national double-blind, double-dummy studies. One. So you're talking about ramiplastin. Ramiplastin. Yeah. One in patients who had been splenectomized, and another in patients who still had their spleens. And the results were that any, between 80 and 90 percent of patients had a sustained response. And all of the trials that are done with all of these agents use as the target platelet count of 50,000 or higher, because that's considered the safe platelet count at which point patients generally don't bleed unless you invade them. So again, about 90% of patients, 80 to 90% of patients in both arms, a little bit lower in the splenectomized patients, but they had a longer duration of disease than the non-splenectomized patients for obvious reasons. But between 80 and 90% of patients were, would respond. And when we took it five years out with the extension, yep. there was no new safety signals and there was no loss of efficacy in those two um, arm, or two trials. And I'm, I'm sure you, as I do, um, have patients that have been on these agents for years yeah. with continued response. 